Hey, Luke here from BaseGorilla.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can automate different effects very quickly and easily using the envelope follower in Ableton Live. So what we'll do is play this sound that I'm using to begin with. You can see and hear that this sample has quite a few um, transients. It has quite a lot of dynamic range in it, meaning the the level between the loudest points and the quietest points is quite a lot. It's similar to a, a drum sample, right? So this is the perfect kind of sample that an envelope follower will work really well on. Um, drum samples are another example. So what we'll do to begin with is go into Max for Live and load up an envelope follower. And this device is very simple to use. And I'm just going to show you what happens when I play the sound. You can see the transients coming through here, right? The signal input level. We can control the gain of that. Now it doesn't sound louder when I boost that gain, but it boosts the input coming into this signal, coming into this envelope follower, which means that it's going to create more dramatic effects on the sound, which I'll demonstrate quite soon. We can map this to any parameter of any device or another parameter inside our workstation. And we can also control the minimum and maximum values. We can even invert them to create reverse style effects. So the first example I'm going to demonstrate this on is with a filter. So if we come over to audio effects and load up an auto filter. So what we can do is map that envelope parameter, envelope follower to the frequency of the sound. Now you can see and hear that that decay sounds very rough and jagged. So we can smooth that out by using this full knob here. We can also smooth out the rise. That's like an increase. That's like increasing the attack time on an ADSR envelope. Cool. We can even delay the effect. If I just bring this minimum level up a bit. Bring the resonance down a bit. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. So that's one example of how you can use the envelope follower. What you might want to do is try something like this. If we put this, select both of these um, effects and press Command G, put them in a group. What we can then do is click on this chain selector icon and right click and click on create chain. And that's just going to look through an unaffected signal. We can then mix that in with the affected signal. Cool. So you can do things like that. Let's turn this off and take a look at another example. So in Max for Live, I'm just going to type env and load up another envelope follower. And what we'll do this time is go to audio effects and have a look at what we think might work well for this. So um, let's try a simple delay. So simple delay is here. Let's change it to four. And the dry wet's 40%, feedback 66. Now let's try mapping the envelope follower to the dry wet. Bring the gain up. So what's happening there is the envelope follower is boosting the dry wet, but it's only getting boosted when the signal, the incoming signal is loud. 
is reaching past a certain point. So basically, as the signal dies off, the dry wet goes back down to 0% and you don't hear it. It's quite an interesting effect. And we can reverse that by bringing this maximum level down to zero and this to 100, the minimum to 100. So let's see how that sounds. Let's see how that sounds with this first one on as well. Cool, so that creates some interesting movement and changes to the sound. And the great thing about it is that if you've got various sounds that you'd like to apply the same effects to, then you can easily do that. So here's another sample. And if I just turn everything off to begin with, you'll hear what the raw sample sounds like. So if I turn on the first rack that has the uh, auto filter and envelope follower in it, let's just loop this. Cool. So you can hear what that sounds like. It's changing the sound nicely. Let's try the simple delay effect. So you really, really hear that in this middle section where the signal really dies away and goes back to silence almost. And that's where the simple delay creeps up. So this has been an example of how to get some interesting effects by using the envelope follower in Ableton Live. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified about all the new videos that we release. And I'll talk to you again in another video soon. Cheers.